The Youngstown School Board approved several items at this afternoon's meeting, but only after lengthy and oftentimes contentious debate. The district's new CEO, Chris Mohip, starts tomorrow, but he was not at tonight's meeting. The division among the Youngstown School Board is our top story at 10. The verbal back and forth between the Youngstown School Board began from the start when Board President Brenda Kimball asked for what's normally a routine vote, passage of the meeting's agenda. This agenda is a failure because this board is a failure. This district has failed its children and we have the report cards to show for it. Board member Dario Hunter wanted discussions on creationism in the curriculum, special education, bullying and staffing. Fellow member Ronald Shad said the creationism issue was dealt with and eliminated. We don't harbor on things that we've already corrected. We go forth and we build off the things that we know that we need to build on to make this district stronger. At one point, Board President Brenda Kimball stopped the discussion and called for a vote. Madam President, you don't have the authority to close discussion under Robert's rules. Only, two th only a two-thirds majority of the board can vote to limit the time for debate. And I'm going to ask our parliament Treasurer Sherry Tyson agreed with Hunter, and the debate continued. Member Jerome Williams was visibly upset with Hunter and fellow member Jackie Adair, who he says are consistently negative. But we can't go forward unless seven members work together. So certain members who do not want to work together, who, who, who wants to keep negative. The board considered extending the contract of interim superintendent Steve Stola for one year. Member Corinne Sanderson was among those who objected because Stola had not been given a performance review. And when she was sent the review documents, they were wrong. It does tend to make me think that it's intentional not to have the evaluation. I hope that is not the case. By a 4-3 vote, Stola's contract was extended until June 30th, 2017. Now, the board also approved spending $15,000 for a retreat in August at Embassy Suites in Beechwood, which Dario Hunter referred to as obscene, while Board President Brenda Kimball said it was 15 of the school system's top administrators and was a good thing.